I am Anupama Narayanpur from Presidency School, Bangalore South. Today we will be learning about Java character set as all the languages will have certain set of characters which will be applicable for the programming languages. Java character set, Java uses Unicode system which like each character will occupy two bytes. This is because they have covered all the languages like English, Arabic, Chinese and many more. That is why we call Java as the universal language also. Now we will see what all are there under Java character set. This is a token. It is a small individual unit. So anything you see in the program as a small individual, small statement, small word. So all that thing will be called as token. So under tokens we have five sections here. Keywords, identifiers, literals, separators and operators. So keywords, the first one is keyword. It can, It is the word which convey the special meaning to the compiler which we cannot use as the user defined variables or any other name like we have various keywords example I can give you int float and then do for while all these are the different words which are described described from the programming language itself which can be the special meaning for the compiler which are meant to do some action some properties now second thing is identifiers these are known as fundamental building blocks of a program under this we can say like variables a variable is the one where it it's a memory location you can say it's a memory location whose value whose value varies it's a name where we give for the memory location and also we can say arrays and classes all these are the different identifiers we have certain rules to set for identifiers like identifier should not start with the number and identifier should not have the gap space in between and identifier should not have the special characters all these are the different rules we need to follow whenever you want to create an identifier so variable example I can give you here is example suppose I want to create a variable for adding two numbers like first number I can take it as first number or I can take it as num1 these all are or n1 anything is fine or simply just like a b c all these are the different variables and these variables should be declared with the help of a data type later we'll discuss about the data type so now like suppose if i type this this will be wrong because here i am it's i'm starting the variable with the this is wrong and even if i want to use this give a space and write even this will be wrong here so a variable should be declared with this so with the rules specified so this is all about the identifiers next is literals where i have these are the constants that have the fixed data values throughout the program so lit under literals we have different types the first one under literals first one numeric literal numeric numeric literal in the sense example which contains the numeric part like 1 12 is a number or something 35 6 7 whatever the number that is numeric literal then second one uh, decimal or floating literal both are same decimal or floating literal which contains the decimal value like example 3.14 or 5.2 so anything which has the decimal value can be called as floating point literal number. Now third one, third one is character literal. Character literal is the one where it is enclosed within the single quotes like maybe any letter or maybe any number also. So whichever is enclosed within single quotes will be known as 
character literal. Under this, we have something called as escape sequences also. Escape sequences are the one where all the key, keys which are non-printable characters like enter key. So, which I want to pick the action. So, I need to give as backslash and each key is given one character. So, like this I can specify the escape sequences. Next thing. Yeah. String boolean literal. Boolean literal is the one where it is used to get the choice like it it will be like you can have either true or false value so true will be one and false will be zero now the last one fifth one is a string literal string literal where here the text is given example here the text is given in the form within double quotes like suppose I want to display any string like this even I want to give some other thing like this I can give the string variables string literals so these all are the different uh, types of uh, literals numeric floating character boolean literal and string literals and then we have separators or punctuators whatever we use in the program like full stop comma and semicolon all these are the punctuators and separators like square brackets and I will use flat brackets and I will use round brackets all these are the punctuators now we have different kinds of operators these are the three main operators we have arithmetic operators as we all know it's like addition operator subtraction multiplication division and division which gives the reminder is quotient this one okay this one will give us the quotient this one will give us the remainder now under relational operator we have greater than less than greater than or equal to less than or equal to and equal to and not equal to these are the different relational operators now under logical operators we have and or and not these are the various operators we have so i hope the character set of java is clear thank you